Maya Meliete's family will be able to see her children starting this Sunday. Maya's sister, Mary Chris, went to court fighting for custody of her sister's three children, which she did not get today. The children will continue to stay in the family's home with Larry's parents for now. Larry, meanwhile, remains in custody accused of Maya's murder. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie was there when the judge granted this new visitation. That is the big one. The judge ordering that Maya's family will be able to see her three children every Sunday, starting this Sunday, for five hours. This is a very sensitive case that involves minor children who have been through an extraordinary amount over the course of the last 10 months. In our court hearing, the court ordered that neither the paternal grandparents, my client, or really anybody else associated with the case is to make any statements to the children about this case or the criminal case. And so from here on out, until there's an order that modifies that, I don't feel, and my client does not feel, that it's appropriate for us to say anything related to this case, okay? It's about what is in the best interest of the kids and how they're going to get through this, and that's it. My Miliete's sister and her husband walked out of court with less than they wanted, but more than they've had in the last 10 months. The judge ordering this visitation with Maya's family begin almost immediately and to happen every Sunday. Keep in mind, her family says Larry Miliete and his parents have kept them from seeing the kids since January, and there's only been one phone call allowed, according to their attorney. That was in September. The judge also ordered that the children start seeing a therapist going forward as quickly as that can be arranged. Mary Chris's attorney, Scott Finkbeiner, argued passionately in probate court today for guardianship to be given to Mary Chris, saying that in fact the children have not had therapy given the trauma they've endured and that that amounts to emotional abuse and neglect at the hands of Larry and his parents. The judge, though, said she did not see enough evidence yet to remove the children from the home they've been in since they were born. They will all be back in court in January on this guardianship issue. Larry's parents, according to that attorney, said they will also be seeking guardianship of the children. Right now, they're at home with Larry's parents and they have a temporary court-appointed guardian who started her assessments on how the children are doing just this Monday. She was granted access by the judge to all documents and videos from the CPS investigation, which is ongoing, we learned, and has interviewed two of the three kids so far. She says they're doing well, but wants to see how the next couple of months go with this visitation and therapy. That's when the judge will hear the next round of arguments on guardianship of these three children who will have been without their mother for more than a year when that next court date happens. Downtown, Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.